Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now, tomorrow the show turns one. We'll be going 365 days, bar I think about three days we didn't do. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the last show of before we turn one years old and tomorrow we'll be doing a roundup and just talking about what's gone on in the last year or so. So these are gonna be the last three bands of this year. Uh, we got some progressive music on the channel today to finish us off. This first band's called Ramage Inc. The track's called Strive. Let's check them out. Get it going. Bunch of nice instruments. in the low end sounds great great drum and cymbal sounds as well yeah 
Man, I love that one. That was frigging great. These guys had a lot going for them. Pretty much everything going for them, actually. Great mix, great sound, great recording, uh, interesting guitar tones, out the ordinary guitar tones, really, really cool sounding, though. Great lead sound as well. Um, cool solo and all the rest of it. Great vocal. I love the attitude in the vocal, and it was kind of progressive style as well, which was cool. Um, building up with the music, sounded great. Great drum sounds, great drumming. Uh, I could hear the dirty, grizzling bass at the low end. Uh, cool composition and moving us about. The chorus came in hard as hell, so yeah. These guys did, did it right. 10 out of 10. Thought it was a great track, great sound, great energy, great everything. Loved it. This is Get The Axe. We've had these guys before. This track is called Burn It All. Let's check them out. I guess they didn't actually use petrol and that was water in his bucket but still they splashed a lot of water around that house as well i'll have to clean all that up anyway cool job good good job for the video and i thought these guys had a cool sound i really like what the vocalist was doing really working his throat kind of very melodic up and down the scales and all of that cool stuff screamy bits and kind of 
pushing it hard and stuff like that. The vocalist was really working out hard. But I thought these guys, in terms of the mix, their sound could have just been a bit wider, in my opinion. This, like the first band, really had a great sound uh, because the guitars were really panned out uh, and the, the lead really kind of sat over the top of the guitars when it came in big washy cymbals to fill out the high end um, and I think that's what these guys needed to do is just kind of pump their mix a bit more uh, spread it out really pan those guitars out wide so that you get a big soundscape because um, you know progressive music you want a nice soundscape they could maybe bring in some more kind of synthy pad type tones as well just to bring a thickness to the mix uh, and an atmosphere to the mix I think it would work out great in this kind of music uh, but everything else was there good energy uh, nice changes throughout the sections um, you know with the cool solo and all the rest of it so yeah good job now we're going to finish off and this is going to be the last band of this year on the show uh, as i say tomorrow we're going to do a roundup vid and just kind of talk about how where we've come in the last year because we've come quite a decent way um, and got a decent audience and stuff going and all of that and keep building on and building on so we're heading in the right direction still we haven't stagnated quite yet um, but yeah going to round up tomorrow so this is going to be the last vid uh, and the last band of this year and this is Matterhorn the track's called Aura Noir it's on the Prog Space Presents let's give it a spin now if I remember right I just cranked this one up a little bit I think it's a bit quiet friend of mine said the abyss he said, Tell me of this longer night. He said, Couple of hours maybe, still without light. An infinitely darker. We got the atmosphere. Friend this of mine took the abyss. He said, Tell me this was his biggest pride He said Lighted by the blackest star The pain is here to stay And infinitely smaller Tell me it was possible That the reach is now that stay all burned and blackened out by the seven gates Blackened and no blur This one's got a real vibe to it. Yeah. 
There's lots of cool sounds in the mix, so bring it into different stuff. Electronic sounds, violins and stuff, most bassy tones, most vocal layering, female and male vocals. Yeah, there's a lot to listen to, it's just not, you know, kind of blasting music. It's got a real vibe to it. The synthy stuff though with the arpege arpeggiator on it has just bring a nice kind of pulse to the music. Just quite a fast pulse. So even though the music's kind of slow moving and we've got all this atmospheric stuff going on, that's still got a nice beat and pulse to it. No drums or anything as well, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool one. That's not quite what I was, I was expecting, to be honest with you. Um, I was expecting it to break out into kind of, you know, drums and, and kind of more heavier guitars and stuff like that, but it didn't. And I'm kind of glad it didn't as well, because it was a really nice track in the end. It set a vibe and had a, had a you know, a slow moving energy to it, but also, as I say, with that pulse to it, um, which it brought in with even out without the drums. Sometimes, you know, most of the time you need drums to bring the beat and the pulse to the music, but because they use the arpeggiator on the synths, that had a beat to it. Bup, 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 bup. Uh, and it worked well, brought in that energy to the music instead of it just, I think if it didn't have that and it was just very, very slow moving, uh, it would have lacked because of that. Um, so it was nice to have that pulse in the music. But yeah, great sound to it. Lots of different sounds in there as well. Synthy sounds, uh, different bassy synthy sounds. There was a real bass in there doing nice runs as well. One, 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 one type of stuff. Uh, the vocal layering was cool as well. And that was all panned out and stereoed and stuff. So yeah, this one had a real nice wide sound to it, which is what I was trying to get at with the second band. Um, with this proggy music, because I think with proggy stuff, you are kind of generally trying to have a, there's a concept behind the music or there's a reason or you kind of you know you, you you're trying to think of a fantasy type scenario to base the music around or something like that so it's got the edge uh where you want to kind of really create a soundscape really create a a full not just a kind of band sound it want you want it to be a, a landscape sound like a a world sound almost an atmosphere to it um so that it really fills your ears and kind of takes over your whole brain there's no space left in the stereo uh or, or kind of area left for you to think you know it just it it, it just fills your whole brain and your whole ears all at once uh, and i think that these guys did a great job of that as well of bringing that soundscape type sound to the music an atmosphere uh it feels like you kind of almost teleported to somewhere else because you you get in a whole atmospheric vibe from the music very very cool uh so yeah this was a different one but i thought it really came well in the in the end uh you've got to be in the right headspace to listen to that if you're looking for kind of high paced music this isn't going to do the job but if you're later at night uh and wanting to kind of have a bit more background music slow moving yeah that was a great job very very cool well there you go that's going to be the last show of this year um in terms of the show being one year old tomorrow we're going to do the roundup uh, and then we'll get on to, into the next year and keep checking out cool bands that's like we do uh, i've got no plans to change the show or suddenly go off in a different direction or something like that i'm loving checking out the bands uh we'll try and keep you know 
up in the quality and keep things fresh and stuff like that but yeah the show is all about checking out underground bands giving them a spin uh, and just enjoying their music for the few minutes that it's on i love it it's 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 a reason to kind of get out of bed every day and check out their bands uh and it's just you know really really enjoyable for me to talk about their music and listen to their music uh, and put my ear to all the different stuff that's going on very very cool enjoying it a lot hope you're enjoying the show as well guys uh give us a like and subscribe and all that garbage but we'll see you tomorrow for the roundup see ya bye